All right, hello, good friends, and uh, welcome to lesson 2.8, solving percent problems using decimals, and you can follow along on page 76. And the goal is to use percents to solve problems that involve everyday situations. So let's take a look at this everyday situation and see if we can figure it out. So Miranda wants to buy an iPod. In a newspaper, she sees an iPod Nano that regularly sells for $119.95, advertised at 20% off. She would also uh, have to pay 15% in taxes, uh, and she has saved $115 from babysitting. Question is, does Miranda have enough money to buy the iPod Nano? So essentially, we have to figure out the discount and then how much the uh, discounted price is going to be uh, with 15% um, in taxes. So let's work all of these numbers out. Now, this is in the uh, textbook, so feel free to uh, copy this down or follow along uh, and pause whenever you need to. So, does Miranda have enough money to buy the iPod Nano? Now, the price is $119.95. Uh, the discount is 20%. So 20% in the form of a decimal, so 20% in the form of a decimal equals 0 0.2, okay? Which would also mean, well actually let me do it this way and then I will show you another way. So first of all, you gotta find the discount. So 119.95, 119. 95 times multiplication 0.2. So 20% of 119.95 is 23.99. That's the discount. That's one way of doing it. So multiplying 119.95 times 20%, this is just the discount. Now, to find the total price, another way to do this is to multiply this total by 80%. So you'll have a discounted price which is 80% of 100%. 20% off gives you 80%. So, and that will be illustrated by 0.8. Let's bust out the handy dandy calculator again. So, 119.95 times 0.8 and your sale price is 95.96 95.96 so there's two ways in which you can gather the discounted price alright now let's continue so we did this already, so the sale price equals the regular price minus the discount. So let's double check that we did everything properly. So 119.95 minus 119.95 minus 23.99 will give you 95.96. Ninety-five, ninety-six. Now, was that the same as if we multiplied it by point, uh, by point eight? Eighty percent of the total. Yes, it is exactly the same thing. So you can go both ways. Times twenty percent will give you just the discount, or if you multiply it by the discounted price, which is eighty percent, that will give you the total. So you skip a step essentially. Okay, so. Uh, and don't worry, we'll run through this in class again just to go through this, uh, just to make sure everybody's clear on this. Okay, so you have your discounted price. So the discounted price off of one nineteen ninety five is ninety five ninety six. All right, one problem. Now you got to pay taxes. So you have one hundred nineteen. Sorry, ninety five ninety six. Now you have to multiply it by the taxes. So fifteen percent is represented in a decimal 
as 0 0.15. So now let's see what the total price is after the discount. All right, sorry, after the discount, then with taxes on top of that. So 95.96 is your new price times 0 0.15. And this is the amount of tax you're paying. So again, there's two ways of doing this. So this is the amount of taxes you're paying, $14.39. So $14.39, okay? So that's the amount of taxes, okay? So this is 15% of $95.96. That is just your taxes. Let me just double check this. All right, now, all you do is add them up. However, I want to go back to this question here. There's again another way of doing this. So instead of just taking your taxes and then adding 1439 to the sale price, here's another shortcut. By taking 9596 times 100% and 15% all in one. So one is 100%, so that's your total sale price, plus the 15% will give you the total without having to add the sale price on. We'll go through this again in class, and there's, you know, is whatever way you feel comfortable with, you can try it. But this is, again, another shortcut. So let's try this one out. All right, let's try that one out. So 95, 96, times 1.15 equals 11035 110.35 all right now let's go through the final portion of this problem and see if we got it all right so again your purchase price is equal to your sale price plus a tax. We've already taken the price off, taken 20% off for the sale price, plus another 15% on top of that for your taxes. So here's what we had as a sale price. Here is the taxes. So let's work that out again. And let's see if we got this same total. So 95, 96 plus 14, 39, We'll give you 110.35. Is that the same price we had before? Yes, it is. This using this equation. I will review all of this. So there's a lot here, but this is very simple equations. And we're going to organize your thoughts next day in class. So, what's the verdict here? This is how much the sale price plus taxes was right here. She has $115 saved up from babysitting. So can she purchase the iPod as so desired? Yes, she can. Very good. So she is very happy. And hopefully you are too. And I will see you in class. So take some notes down and uh, I'll be checking. And uh, we'll review in class, all right? Thank you. See you.